The following is an analytical review of the literature on the effect of educational technology in mathematics instruction on student achievement, presented by Jonathan Barnes. Educational technology is defined as the various electronic tools and applications used to support the delivery of mathematics instruction with the goal of improving student achievements. These technologies may include computer-assisted instruction, computer-based algebra systems, computer-based interventions, and interactive whiteboards. Educational technology is an essential tool of mathematics instruction. It is important to mathematics instruction because, in general, it raises student achievement. Using technology in mathematics instruction allows teachers to provide immediate feedback, individualized learning opportunities, and to motivate students to engage in active and flexible learning, collaboration, and cooperation. It can also afford teachers to provide students opportunities to visualize mathematics, develop active learning strategies, verify conjectures, gain confidence, and build positive attitudes towards learning mathematics. From the studies that were included in this analysis, six themes emerged from the research related to the effects of educational technology in mathematics instruction on student achievement. They were 1. Educational technology and mathematics instruction in general increases student achievement. 2. Educational technology and mathematics instruction has a greater effect on students with special needs. 3. Educational technology and mathematics instruction has a greater effect on the achievement of elementary students. 4. Educational technology and mathematics instruction has a greater effect on students when linked to pedagogy. 5. The effect of educational technology and mathematics instruction on student achievement depends on gender. And 6. The effect of educational technology and mathematics instruction is dependent on the amount and duration of use of the technology. In analyzing the literature, the major theme that emerged was that the use of educational technology in mathematics instruction generally produces an increase in student achievement. When a computer-based tutoring software was implemented in traditional math instruction, there was an improvement in student achievement. Students who engaged in the computer-based tutoring software attained mastery of concepts. The program was also able to meet the diverse needs of students in the study while increasing student achievement. Learners who experience instruction with an interactive whiteboard increase mathematics achievement. The interactive whiteboard enables visualization of mathematical concepts, affording greater comprehension and retention of material for students. Supplemental computer-assisted instruction showed some of the largest effects on mathematics achievement. Students who used computer-assisted instruction significantly outperformed students who received only teacher-directed instruction in mathematics. Computer-assisted instruction was significantly more effective in correcting students' mathematical misconceptions than traditional methods. It was also effective in helping students develop higher-order representation of math problems. However, not all research agreed with this finding. It should be noted that three studies included in this analysis were unable to reveal a direct link between educational technology and mathematics instruction and student achievement. Another theme that emerged from analyzing the literature was that special needs students experience positive achievement effects from the inclusion of educational technology and mathematics instruction. Lee and Ma revealed special needs students represented the largest achievement effects resulting from the inclusion of educational technology into mathematics instruction. There is a significant increase in the achievement of students with special needs when supported with educational technology. Students with special needs also retain mathematical concepts for larger duration when taught with educational technology. They are also able to carry these achievements into the classroom on paper and pencil tests. Elementary school students represented some of the largest achievement effects resulting from the inclusion of educational technology into mathematics instruction. Elementary school students had greater achievement effects when compared with secondary students. Educational game technology positively affects elementary students' achievement regardless of ability level. 
Students who played mathematical-based games outperformed those who played a paper-based game. Computer-assisted instruction in mathematics positively increased elementary students' achievement. The immediate feedback provided by computer-assisted instruction promoted student engagement, attainment, and retention of mathematical concepts, and ultimately led to an increase in mathematical achievement. Another theme that emerged from analyzing the literature was that educational technology in mathematics instruction is more effective in enhancing student achievement when it is combined with pedagogy. Educational technology is significantly more effective in increasing student achievement in certain types of learning environments. Each use of educational technology needs a pedagogical approach to improve student achievement. In environments where educators used a constructive method of teaching, educational technology had a larger effect on student achievement than environments where teachers used a traditional approach to teaching. Another theme was that in using educational technology, gender differences emerged in relation to student achievement. Males and females were shown to achieve in different areas. Females improved in the areas of problem solving, quantitative computations and interpretation of graphs. Males improved visual and spatial achievement. When computer assisted instruction was included in mathematics instruction, in general, girls outperformed boys. However, the boys did see an improvement in their mathematics achievement. However, not all research agreed. Two studies found that gender was not a significant predictor of mathematics achievement. Another theme that emerged was that the amount and duration of use of educational technology in mathematics instruction was related to student achievement. Technology interventions that lasted more than one term but shorter than a year showed fewer effects than interventions that lasted longer than one term. Technology interventions that lasted longer than one year revealed no advantage over technology interventions that lasted one term. These findings revealed that shorter technology interventions were more effective in promoting mathematics achievement than longer in duration technology interventions. Technology interventions of less than six months were much more effective in promoting mathematics achievement than interventions between six and twelve months. Educational technology that required more than 30 minutes a week showed larger effects than those that required less than 30 minutes a week. Students who used educational technology for longer periods of time experienced the greatest achievement effects because they gained mastery of mathematical concepts well enough to obtain high test scores. However, too much time on computers is harmful to student achievement. When students spend excessive amounts of time using technology, they end up spending time in ways likely not to increase student achievement. Therefore, an excessive amount of use during a single day did not contribute to academic achievement. The amount of technology used in mathematics instructions seems not to matter in the achievement of students, but rather the quality of technology and how it is used. The quality of technology and the applications of how educational technology is used seem to be more important to student achievement than frequency of use. From the studies included in this critical analysis, numerous implications emerge in relation to policy, technology integration in schools, and teacher education. Educational policy should emphasize promotion of appropriate pedagogy to ensure that technology has a positive impact on mathematics achievement. The creation of standards of best practices for implementation should be considered as part of any educational technology policy. Policy should also not be concerned with how often or how much technology is used, but rather how technology is used. Educational policies on technology should shift from quantity and focus on quality educational technology usage. Furthermore, sufficient financial support needs to receive attention to ensure teachers are well trained and have access to quality resources for implementation of educational technology in mathematics instruction. An implication from this analysis is that teachers should create the correct classroom conditions 
for educational technology to maximize its affordances. Mathematics teachers should be aware that technology integration with a constructivist approach leads to larger effects on mathematics achievement than using technology in a traditional teaching approach. Not all technologies are equally useful to enhancing student achievement. Technology has the potential to transform the classroom, and thus how students are using the technology is crucial to technology integration and achievement. Thus, teachers need to provide technologies and create supporting environments for technology uses that have proven positive effects on student achievement. Thus, to fully maximize the affordances of educational technology in the mathematics classroom, teachers must select quality technology appropriate for the needs of their students. Another implication for teachers is the need to provide students with assessment opportunities using educational technology. Students taught with technology should also be assessed with it. Teachers need to be trained in assessment techniques with technology and provided resources to valid and reliably assess students using educational technology. Teacher educators should encourage students to reflect on their own learning with technology. Such reflection allows for critical analysis of the potential and limitations of educational technology. Thus, teacher education programs should establish effective ways to prepare teachers to incorporate technology into their classrooms. Many of the studies in this analysis included educational technology that was used to facilitate a fundamental mathematics understanding focusing on drilling, computation, and fundamental skills. There is no doubt this is important However, developing a conceptual understanding of mathematics in a broad range of areas is important for students to build higher cognitive levels of mathematical ideas and thinking. Future research may consider focusing on the development of higher levels of cognition in mathematics achievement. The majority of studies included in this analysis use quantitative measures only. All of the studies use quantitative methods to measure student achievement. There is much that can be learned from non-experimental qualitative research that can add depth and understanding to the effects of educational technology. Future analysis may consider including qualitative studies. Also, the majority of the research conducted in the studies included in this analysis was over a relatively short duration. Only one longitudinal study was included in this analysis. More longitudinal studies are needed to further investigate the long-term effects of educational technology and mathematics instruction. The findings of the studies included in this analysis suggest that educational technology and mathematics instruction has a positive effect in enhancing student achievement. However, the evidence presented in this analysis does not support complacency, but rather new, better, and more accessible educational technology tools are needed as well as refined pedagogy and better trained teachers capable of capturing the full power of technology to enhance student achievement. Educational technology is an essential instructional tool, but it cannot replace good teaching. Rather, technology is a component of good teaching. The level of education of the students, pedagogy, gender, and amount and duration of use of the technology were all found to affect student achievement when educational technology was used in mathematics instruction. These need to be explored to further harness the potential affordances and minimize the constraints of educational technology in mathematics instruction.